Hi, I'm Rachel Benjamin and uh, this is my home. And uh, I came to Australia from Sri Lanka from in 1984. And ever since I'm living in Melbourne and I love Melbourne. I am a Hindu convert. And as a Hindu, we were very staunch Hindus and I would like the Hindu gods to have a, a relationship with me. I want them to talk to me. And so I fasted, I meditated for days and nothing happened. And um, in desperate measures, I went and did a research to see where this religion came from. And I found out it man made. And uh, I was then openly asking, who's this true God is? And my classmates one time went to church, so they asked me to go. So I went with them and they were worshiping God. And um, when they finished worshiping God, I just thought in my heart, maybe this is what I'm looking for. And I heard this voice behind me, before you knew me, I knew you. And I was looking around to see who that was and they asked, what are you looking? And I said, somebody said that and they, they knew who it was. And it was God's audible voice. And that day, you know, they said, go home and invite Jesus Christ into your heart. And, and from that day, I, I heard God's audible voice first and uh, I invited him into my heart. And, and from that day onward, I found my talking God. In 2005, we got satellite television. When God TV first came and we, we were so excited, you hear people going to Toronto, to Canada, to, to learn from John and Carolina. Here, you know, God TV brings that to your lunch room for more than an hour's teaching and the whole revival. And it's such a privilege. When the kingdom of God comes in you, then life begins at that point. There's, Jesus talked about being born again and I love that we can be born again, born into a life in the spirit that now gives you significance, now gives you purpose, now gives you meaning. You're no longer an orphan, you are a child of God, you're a son of God. And so that needs to be brought onto the, into the inside of you. And it's at that point we can begin to worship and have this vertical relationship with God our Creator who we realize is up there but he's also in here and so there's life going in and and we have a, a an upward journey where we're saying God I want more of you and we begin to hunger and thirst after him when you can come to the Lord and say first of all I need the love of my father to be revealed on the inside of my heart that is an inward journey that will transition into the upward journey because when you get that love revealed it will so open up your spirit that you will be able to worship him in spirit and truth like never before god tv is on 24 7. we love it even though we have not sometimes no time to watch it it just imparts into your spirit you hearing it wherever you are, and 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 the blessings, you know, it comes comes from the television. You walking and you got you, you know some of the preachers will give you the strategy. What's the blockade? And you you know I sometimes look at the television and say, thank you Lord, that's what it is. You write it down. I'm a carer for my mom for so a period of time I couldn't go anywhere other than stay at home, look after my mom. So I used that opportunity to get a schedule from God TV. You know, they send schedules of their programs. Just pick a program, invite friends. And uh, when they come in, we have a cup of tea or a cupcake, watch the program, switch off the program. And we talk about the program and, and then we pray for each other. If we're watching a revival for an instant, if we're watching their revival or any revival, you know, I tell my, you know, my friends and ladies who have gathered here to close their eyes and we actually picture ourselves in the meetings and we draw from that same energy. And people have got healed, 
and and they keep on ringing and asking when are you having the next one so that was a platform for me to have my ministry from home so it was like when is the next one when is the next one and uh, sometimes you can't keep up with that and then they will bring more people for healing these are not a cold and a cough these are deep healing it's, you know um, emotional healing people with depression and all that and and all we do is we just draw from the teaching in the revival and then touch the people and actually we drawing and then passing on to them the power of god something is taking place right now and uh, spirit of god is upon delia feeling your hands on my legs. No. I could feel sensation before, but I couldn't feel actual feeling. This dear sister has nerve damage, and the Lord is restoring the sensation in her legs. Keep worshiping. Come on. got to be angel for three four years now and I'm enjoying it um, it gives me the privilege and the joy um, of God using me to change someone's life and to change history I can give you a, a, a small testimony of, of this this man we were at a conference in Queensland it's a leaders conference he had tattoos and everything, and he said, can I pray for you guys? And I said, you want to pray for us? He said, yep. And he prayed this prayer. He said, thank you, Lord, for God TV. Because of God TV, I got saved in the prison. And for me to hear that testimony, because I'm a God TV angel and my giving, and here I hear a testimony of a man who got saved in the prison. And now he's a, he's a pastor or a leader. So I want to tell the viewers, if you are not a, a, a God TV angel, become one. Because when you hear these testimonies, you know that, that you have blessed to change someone's life. So you can be one, and you can be one, and you can be one. Because God will bring these people in your life, and you will hear their testimony how that you know someone blessed them and they got saved and you know you one of them and the joy of that is unspeakable so thank you Laurie and Wendy for giving me an opportunity for become a partner and I always support them to, and I always say I want to also win billion souls partnering with Laurie and Wendy